welcome to this crop update. And as we're going into May now, it's been one of the most difficult crop seasons that, that we can remember. So really very late drilling for spring barley, potatoes and veg, um, with nothing of the spring barley crop to speak of drilled before the start of May. And that knock-on, of course, have affected other field operations, so we're very late with spray applications and also some quite complex spray mixes having to go on where people do get spray opportunities. And it's still quite cold, so frosts at night and things. So generally very stressful for crops. If we kind of go through them one by one, um, the winter barleys, some of them have missed their T1s and now are booting or ons peeping. Um, and quite a lot of rhynchosporium on some varieties there. So probably thinking about increasing uh, inputs there to try and deal with high levels of disease. The winter wheats are probably okay. Septoria there, very little yellow rust, which is helpful. Um, but again, you, we're getting to T1 timings now and then trying to alternate to something strong at T2. Osidrape flowering, so we're kind of at that mid-petal fall. Uh, where it's wet as it is, that, that can increase the sclerotinia risk, so trying to manage that. And a lot of catching up for the spring barleys. We're about half drilled in the northeast and probably fully drilled um, as we get towards the borders here. Um, things to moderate would be nitrogen, um, so maybe cutting back nitrogen by about two kilograms uh, per day after your optimum. And usually our optimum is mid-March to mid-April. And of course, we weren't drilling till May, so that makes it pretty late. Potatoes going in now, but again, likely that they will be coming out in kind of more peak virus and blight periods. So we'll be managing that as, as we go through the season more carefully. Mm -hmm.